everybody, in this video I'll be making butterbeer. I looked all over the internet to find a recipe that was similar to the butterbeer in Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'll list where I found the recipe and the written directions and all the ingredients down below. Let's get started. In a small saucepan over medium, combine one cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of water and stir them together. Bring to a gentle boil and cook stirring often until the mixture reads 240 Fahrenheit on a candy thermometer. Stir in six tablespoons of butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of cider vinegar, and one fourth of heavy cream. And as I said earlier, you're going to stir those all together and set aside to cool to room temperature. Here's a tip. Make sure you measure out all the ingredients beforehand so it's easy to just like pick it up and pour it in when time arises. Once the mixture has cooled to room temperature, stir in a half a teaspoon of rum extract. Now don't get your wands in a knot, this isn't real rum, it's just an imitation rum, so it's totally children friendly. But I guess if you wanted to get a little tipsy, just add the real thing. Woohoo! Now you're done with that. Now go get a mixing bowl and combine a half a cup of heavy cream and two tablespoons of that brown sugar mixture you just made and get the scary electric mixer thing. <laughs> you should have saw my face while doing this. When I was putting it into the bowl, I was like, it's gonna go everywhere. I was covering my face, but if you put it on a low setting, it's not gonna happen. It's scary for no reason. <laughs> well, you're just gonna mix that until it's thickened or whatever texture you want. It's your butterbeer, go for it. The directions say to mix it for about two to three minutes. I mixed it about two and a half minutes. Now go get your mug because it's time to serve. This recipe serves about three people, but I'm going to tell you how to serve just one. You're going to serve one fourth cup of that brown sugar mixture and one fourth cup of the cream soda and mix it. Then fill the remainder of the mug with additional cream soda. Then spoon the whipped topping over your mug. I got this mug at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. When you buy butterbeer, you can get a souvenir mug, and this is that. Hey guys, I just taste tested the butterbeer I just made, and I thought my camera was rolling, but it wasn't, so um, I'll just tell you my thoughts here. I think this recipe is pretty close to the version from Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. Um, if not the same, a really, really close version. I know it's not the simplest recipe, but it's definitely the closest version to Wizarding World of Harry Potter's Butterbeer. Um, let me clarify, this is not the slushy version, this is the cold version. I don't know how you could make it slushy, I don't know, I guess add ice and blender it, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I guess you can Google that and figure it out. <laughs> So if you guys try this out, tell me what you think, and if you tried the Parks Butterbeer, let me know how it compares to you. I think it's pretty close. It's pretty good too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember the written directions and all the ingredients I use are going to be written down below. So thank you for watching.